Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in to the second, um, the second episode of our kids live show. Today, we're going to show you um, our cool bee tools, our bee suits. It's still very cold. We're wearing coats and hats and it's too cold to still look at the bees, but spring is coming and um, very soon we'll be able to do that. You'll notice outside there's nothing much in bloom yet. Um, they're just starting, the trees you might see, they're just starting to get little flowers. The maple, the maple and the willow trees and the poplar are the first things to bloom and that's what the bees really go for um, before even the crocuses or the little spring flowers come out. Um, and so thank you everyone who sent in pictures of your bees. Um, last week we were we showed you how to draw a bee and we got some really, really wonderful drawings. Um, so we're gonna take a look at some of them before we head outside. So the first one, where's my little card with everybody's name? I wrote it, I had, oh, well, we're just gonna have to wing it because I, I can't quite remember. But this one, this one comes from Penelope. Isn't she a cute little bee? And then we've got this one here. Thank you so much, sweetheart. That is just a lovely drawing. Deacon, this is a beautiful bee. Look at him, He's, I can see the long tongue and the nice red flower and the beehive hanging in the tree. That is just awesome. Eli the bee, love it, love it. This is a blue bee. Did you know there actually are blue bees? So not, not all bees are um, yellow and black or, or brown. There's also a, a blue bee, so if you Google uh, blue bees, you'll see them. They're, they're navy blue and metallic kind of. They're very, very cool. We also had this lovely bee garden. Isn't that wonderful with these lovely bees? This little guy is uh, about four and a half years old. Matt is giving me a look that the uh, link is not working great. So hopefully it's not too frustrating for you, for those of you that are watching. And then look at this bee. She looks like she's dancing. She is a lovely little dancer. And then last but not least, we have this little bee, and that is just so cute. So I am getting a little note from Matt, who's looking at me through the window, that there is a little bit of some glitchiness happening in the live stream. Uh, we're using a new piece of software that links to Facebook. So hopefully it's going to continue okay as we move out into the garden. So um, let's, let's, fingers crossed, I'm a little bit nervous as I move further away from the Wi-Fi. Um, but we're going to give it a try. So let's go take a look outside, shall we? So it is still pretty gray, no flowers yet in the garden. And we've just been pruning, starting to prune our fruit trees. So the, the bees, they like to visit our apple trees and plum trees uh, in the springtime. They'll pollinate all of the flowers, which is another wonderful thing about bees. So bees and pollinators, they're responsible for pollinating about a third of the food that we eat. And um, so we're really grateful to have them visiting all sorts of fruit trees and vegetable gardens and uh, even greenhouses, which we'll tell you about in a minute. So here, coming up, there's Matt. Matt is going to show you all of our tools. And, uh, and, uh, don't tell him. I'm gonna get him to dance and he doesn't know it yet. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. Hi everyone. So I'm gonna show you a couple things for the beehive. First thing we have to do is get our bee suits on. 
So we can be protected if we need to be from the bees. It's a little tricky sometimes getting it through the feet. <laughs> it's got, there's elastics at the bottom so that the bees can't accidentally fly up your pants. The bees are still in their hives this morning, so we're not going to bother them. They uh, are grumpy when it's this cold, but as spring arrives, we'll, we'll definitely open them up for you and get nice and close and show you everything inside. And then we zip up our hoods. You can see there's screen up here at the front. There's screen so that Matt can see and work, but the bees can't get in there. Nice and ventilated. And the and white... We're gonna just, put our trusty bee belt on. So the white suit, the, the story with the white suit is that bees, if you're wearing a dark color, they think you're more likely to be a bear or a predator, but they don't mind the white as much. I don't know if that's totally true, but uh, they are nice and white. So there we go. He's got long gloves. There we go. So the gloves, they are made out of like a leather or a faux leather and the bees can't uh, sting through them. Wait, wait, Matt, now wait, before you get that smoker going, I promised everybody at home that I was going to get you to dance. <laughs> hey, I had to dance last time. So now it's your, now that you got your bee suit on, so put the smoker down. Everybody at home, kitties, you guys can stand up. You know this one, it's easy and uh, you can dance with Matt so that he doesn't feel all alone. All right, ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, all right. <laughs> All right, back to our regular scheduled program. So this is called a smoker. Matt's gonna tell us all about what it does, but you can see he's showing in the bottom there. There's all kinds of wood shavings. He's gonna light a little fire in here. And the smoke, it doesn't hurt the bees. What it does is it makes them kind of think that there's a forest fire. And so they start maybe preparing, they start filling their bellies with honey in case they have to leave. Matt's shaking his head at me. What would you like to add, Matt? I would like to say that the bees have smells that they put through the hive called pheromone. And when I puff a little bit of smoke in the hive, none of the bees will be able to smell their warning pheromone that there's an intruder because the smoke will disguise all the smell. And that'll keep the bees calm. So this is just dry wood shavings in here. The metal, the smoker itself, look, it's a metal tin. And on the back here, what Matt's doing is that's called the bellows of the smoker. And it just puffs a little bit of air in and out. And it lets, uh, lets everything uh, go. All right, there's a little bit of smoke coming out. Let's see. So if we were actually going to open up this beehive, we'd give a little puff of smoke to the entrance so that um, everybody inside would get, you know, a little bit calm. And then this tool, what's that tool? This is our hive tool. Because the, the bees glue all their beehive shut with propolis, which is like sap they take off the trees, we need this tool to able to pry open the lid. Matt, we're gonna move a little bit closer to the Wi-Fi because I just got a notice that it stopped recording. Take it off. I'm continuing recording. Take it off. Well, we'll just gotta just keep going. So we put it on the cell. All right, we're gonna keep going and we can always post it if it's not totally working. Okay, talk about the hive tool. Well, this is our hive tool that uh, we need to open up the beehive. And the, because they glue it shut, we need to pry everything open with the, with the hive tool. 
and then we need to pry open all of these frames and these are the frames in the honeycomb that the bees make wait let's see they start out kind of if there were, there's no empty bees like in this, this hive but this is kind of what they look like and then the bees will sweat out all of their wax and they'll build honeycomb all over top of this and that's where they'll store their honey and have their babies all right So now we're going to head to the greenhouse and we're going to just show you um, some flowers that bees like and uh, maybe maybe we'll even see Abby if she's flying around. It's, it's pretty cold today so I don't know if she's going to be out and about but maybe. So this is our little greenhouse. So what a greenhouse does is it it makes it easier to grow plants when it's cold because the sun shines in and it creates a nice air space and um, you know the heat and the plants really like it. Uh, we just have a few things started right now. We've got some uh, some nice tomatoes here and some more tomatoes over here and lots of tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Um, and uh, a few other little things started. But while I'm waiting for Matt, uh, we'll just take a look. So it's really easy. You don't need anything very complicated to um, grow some easy seeds at home for bees. Um, if you have just some recycled containers, I use like old yogurt containers that are cleaned out. These little clamshell containers are really great as well. Um, or sometimes I'll use um, uh, cartons and just cut them in half and that gives you a nice container. Or you can buy, you know, something like this that you can actually um, put seedlings in. So I'm just going to pass the camera over to Matthew. Oh, I think I've got it backwards. All right. So I was just saying how we can grow all kinds of plants for the bees at home. They like flowers, of course, um, and they also like vegetables. Um, oh, I think I hear, do I hear a bee? I think I might hear a bee. Is she buzzing? Hi, Abby. Oh, hi, Marianne. It's great to see you. Thanks for coming. Well, I did great to see you too. I didn't expect to see you out flying around today. It's so cold. Oh yes, but it's very warm in the greenhouse. That's true. You know, some, some sometimes there are bees used in greenhouses. Did you know that? I did. My uh, relatives, some of them are they're called the bumblebee, and they actually pollinate tomatoes. They're the only flower that can pollinate tomatoes. They use a thing called buzz pollination. Buzz pollination. Okay, and what does buzz pollination do? Does it what, how does it work? How it works is the bee lands on the flower and then it shakes its whole body with its wings <laughs> and all of the pollen falls out of the out of the flower and then that's how they pollinate it. Okay, and honeybees, they can't do that? No, we, we just use our tongues and like static electricity onto our fur that collects all the pollen. Oh, okay, so bumblebees and greenhouses. I think that's right, yeah. So these these tomatoes over here Later, we'll, we'll have bumblebees out in our garden. We'll have, to, we'll have to take a look at that and show everybody at home. Yeah. What are, what are your favorite flowers, Abby? Well, I like all kinds of flowers. This time of year, I really like the trees because they're the first flowers out. But when the dandelions come, whoa, I love dandelions. So keep them on your lawn for a little while so I can eat some nectar. They are amazing flowers, aren't they? They're just so happy and yellow. Did you know that sometimes people think of them as weeds? Oh, yes, I hear that all the time. Yeah, they're great flowers. So right now you're visiting the maple trees, the poplar, the willow? Yep, the willow, maple, okay. poplar, that's right, all of those. What are some things that uh, maybe kids could start planting at home for you? Uh, there's all kinds of things you could plant. Uh, what are, I like uh, echinacea is a great flower. It comes in all colors, and we love that. Yes, yes. What about, what about sunflowers? Do you like 
sunflowers? I do. I love sunflowers. And so do the birds. They do. They're great. So why don't, you know, you can order sunflowers from online or if you want to grow things like peas or beans, you might even have some dried beans in your cupboard. Put some, put a dried bean and some dirt in a little uh, recycled container and pretty soon put it in a sunny window. You don't need a greenhouse to grow plants at home. And then pretty soon it'll be time to plant them in the garden. So hello, James. Are you going to, are you, Hi, James. are you going to help me plant a sunflower seed? Great. You want to do it? Okay. Take your, take your uh, container. Here's the dirt. Fill it up. Fill it, fill it up. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe put a little bit more in there. Okay, now pack it. Can you make a hole for your seeds? Very good. All right, this is a sunflower. You grew sunflowers with your kindergarten class last year, didn't you? Yes. Well, now we can watch this one grow. Let's show, look at these beautiful seeds. See them? They've got stripes. This is called a sun-rich summer sunflower. So we'll get to watch these grow. Okay, Jamie, take a seed, put it in that hole. Great, cover it up. And now what we can do is we can leave it in here or we can put it in a sunny window in the kitchen. What would you like to do? Leave it in here. Leave it in here? Okay, let's watch it grow. So then the other things, of course, that that plants need to grow are what? What's another? Water, dirt, and soil. And, and one more thing. It's sunshine. Yes. Sunshine. Water, dirt, soil, and sunshine. Oh, well, dirt and soil. You want to sing a song? Okay. Three bees in a hive. One went away, and then there was two. Two bees in a hive. One went away, and then there was one. One bee in a hive. One went away. Then there were zero bees in the hive. Goodbye. Very nice. Did you make that up? Yes. You did, eh? That's a great little song. Mommy! Yes, dear. Show me the computer is. The computer? I do. It's in the kitchen. Where? It's in the store. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> All right, so I, that's everything for today. If you guys want to grow some seeds at home, I would love to, we'd love to see pictures and we can share them in one of the next upcoming episodes. Did you want to add anything, Matt? before we say bye to everybody? No, but if the video didn't work, we're going to try to post it afterwards. Absolutely. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a great day.